Welcome friends, it's Sunday morning, so we're going to do another recipe out of a depression era cookbook. And today we're going to do one from this cookbook. This is the 1932 edition of the Five Roses Flower, A Guide to Good Cooking. If you are Canadian, chances are you have, uh, you have one of these cookbooks in your cupboard. Uh, they first printed this in 1913, and it was essentially a community cookbook. They got Canadian housewives to send in their favorite recipes and Five Roses Flour or the Lake of the Woods Milling Company, which made Five Roses Flour, put it together into a cookbook. And it's been in print from then until 1967. This is the 1967 version in English. Um, and if you are in French Canada, Quebec, you probably have La Cuisinière. Um, this is the 1959 version. And so what I really like about these cookbooks is that they as you go through the years and you look at the recipes, you see little snapshots of what it was like to be in Canada at that particular time. And so this one from 1932 um, shows a lot of recipes uh, from that Depression era that are sort of how to get by recipes, but it also shows a lot of recipes that are those celebratory, let's get together and, and you know, economy be damned, let's have a good time. And this one I think falls sort of in the middle, it's peanut butter bread. I've never seen this recipe before in my entire life. I have no idea what this is going to be like, um, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So, very simple recipe, very few ingredients and very cheap ingredients, really. First in, of course, is five roses flour. So put that into the bowl. Uh, next up is salt and sugar and an enormous amount of baking powder. Um, I'm really surprised how much baking powder is in there. And so I'm just going to give that a stir, mix it all together. Um, next in is some milk. And need about that much. Okay. Now, this recipe book gives a little bit more explanation than some of the books we've been using lately. Um, in each section, though, there is a master recipe. And from that master recipe, it gives you the instructions, the base instructions for doing all of the recipes later in that section. And then if there's anything specific about the, the recipe, it sort of fills you in on it. But for the most part, it's just put the stuff together, mix it up, put it in the oven and bake it. Um, pretty standard. You're supposed to know how it all goes together. Okay, next in is the peanut butter. Okay, so it's coming together. Now, there's no egg. Um, there's no butter, lard, shortening. The only fat in here is from the peanut butter. Uh, so I've got a buttered baking pan or loaf pan. Uh, I'm going to put this in here. And then it says to bake it in a slow oven of about 325 to 350 for an hour. So we'll get this going and see what happens. So what else have you made us today, Glenn? Hey, Jules. So this is peanut butter bread. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm in. Um, oh, I see the peanut. Yeah, so I used crunchy peanut butter because that's what we have. And I... Smells peanut buttery. Mm. It tastes peanut buttery. You so want to just partner it with anything that goes with peanut butter. Put some jam on it. Toast it with jam. Yeah. Toast it and have it with some banana. So... You could, and of course, a Glen word. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, bacon. Bacon no, on some it. Bacon in it. Bacon in it would be pretty good. Anyway. As I was making this, I realized that the peanut butter that you use will, will change the flavor. Yes. So we buy peanuts only, no sugar added. It's just ground peanuts, peanut butter, mm -hmm. which is going to have a completely different flavor, taste, sweetness than if you buy if you a sweetened peanut butter, a, a regular sweetened peanut butter that you know has corn syrup or sugar or yes. all of those other things. Yes, it would it. have a different flavor. It would make it sweeter. It would make it much sweeter, and I think that that extra sweetness most people would really like. 
Yes, I, I bet would almost, be really good, actually, as well. Yeah, I think it would be really good. I think good. it would be really good. I almost think, now that I taste it, I'd up the amount of peanut butter in it just to make it a little bit peanuttier. How do you think you'd need to complement that when you with the other ingredients? Do you think adding more peanut butter would make it... I don't, I don't think that adding more peanut butter would change this too much, because this is a very light... I was expecting it to be much denser than this, but this, okay. is, this is very light. So I think adding more peanut butter would be fine. Um, now, so this is the 1932 version. We took a look through the 1967 English version, not in there. But it is in the 1959 um, French version. So it's kind of interesting how, it, how where, it, where it's going to pop up and how it pops up. So, I don't know. Maybe in Quebec it was a bigger hit than it was in Ontario, because I never remember ever seeing this as a child. Mostly because that's my mom's version from 1967, and, <laughs> and it, it wasn't, it it wasn't in. in there, so she wouldn't. She would not cook it. I don't know that I would have ever had. Uh, I I have no recollection of peanut butter bread. No, um, as a as a child either. But I think I think you could really. This is a good starting place for a whole bunch of different things that you could do with peanut butter bread. I wonder if you could make it with other kinds of Nutella butters, like Nutella almond butter. Almond butter. Yes. Are any of those those nut yeah. butters? So I, I recognize that peanuts are not nuts, etc. But Yes, could you? Um, you could you could definitely do it with uh, ground almonds, so almond butter. And anything that's got that kind of texture to yeah. it, and and oil because there is no butter in this, so it's relying on the oil on from the, oil. the okay. peanuts. Yeah, I was just trying to think of some other things that would have that texture. Yep. I was thinking, oh, what well, kind of maybe a thick jam, but no, no, it, not a compote. That wouldn't work. It need, has to be the the, the, you need oil the oil based. You need the oil. Okay, good to know. So I think this is a winner. I I kind of like this one. I'm, I mean, it needs a. I would make some changes, but I think it is a good recipe. Yeah, I'm going to have another piece. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.